Welcome back to the channel. It is December 9th. Uh, first week of December is over. Christmas is coming closer and closer. Um, and we are going to get into this Thursday night football game between the Los Angeles Rams and the um, New England Patriots. But before we delve into that, I would like to give you guys a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you're looking at the screen right now, uh, we're over 200 subscribers. Um, every time I get to, you know, that next plateau of a hundred, I'm going to give away some, give away a little gift, you know, I cash app you something so you can go place a bet, try to make some extra cash, um, every hundred. Okay. So I try to contact the first guy for the 200. Um, he hasn't responded back to me yet. So, um, I'm waiting for you, man. I'm waiting for you. Let me know so I can get your cash app and I can send you something a little gift for the holiday seasons. And if you're looking at these videos, I'm liking the views that Ravens, um, video 141. That's good. Um, 65 is okay for the chiefs 40 for the bets. Um, but we will, I want to see consistency throughout all my videos and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. 200 is just the beginning and we're going to go way, way up. Um, also I'm going to just, I should have done it for this one, but for the next one, I'm going to post my cash app. I'll probably have it in the um, um, description under as well. Just if you if you happen to win and you want to tip me for some free advice, go ahead. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's going to be there. I'm not forcing anything. I'm giving you free advice. But if you feel compelled to give me a dollar or two, whatever you want, I'll appreciate it. All right. And I'm going to keep doing these videos and keep um, improving my channel. Um, there's a lot of things I could do. I could do an intro, some, maybe some background music. It's going to evolve. It's going to evolve. This is just the beginning. 200 is nothing. And we're going to go way, way up. So after that introduction, it's time for this game, the showdown between New England and the LA Rams. And in this one, um, I'm feeling the under um, on this game. If you're just looking at DraftKings Sportsbook as well, um, and you go, you know, focus in, zero in on this game, and you're looking at stats, um, there's a lot of pointers that's going to, you know, tell you that this game is going to be a low-scoring, ugly game. Um, just for an example, the over-under is set at, uh, at 44 and a half. Um, the average points per game in this stadium is 44.6 and the over under record for the LA Rams is, um, three and eight. So this one right here is trending for the under, um, eight of the Rams last nine games. The favorite has gone under this is just indicator after indicator. And then if you want to just bring common sense. Okay, here's another indicator. Let me go before I get to my next point. And then you're looking at uh, win-loss records. You got against the spread is 6-6 six and six Patriots. Uh, Rams is 7-5. and five. And then the over-under. Uh, Patriots are tw 29th, and you got the 30th ranked um, teams on over-unders. The, their games tend to go under as another qualifier where you should feel confident in taking this under 44 and a half. Okay. Um, and then common sense, common sense will tell you that, um, the, the Rams and the Patriots have very, very good defenses on both sides. The Rams have a more elite defense. They're, they're more well-rounded. Um, and Cam Newton is not the type of guy to throw the ball, sling it all around, especially he doesn't have no weapons. This is the reason why Tom Brady left. He has maybe Demir Bird, occasional deep ball, and then the, the possession receiver is Jacoby Myers. Cam Newton is not throwing the ball anywhere, okay? If anything, this man has 11 rushing TDs. He only has five passing TDs and nine interceptions. So he is more susceptible to turnovers than touchdowns already. So you know I like the Rams' defense in this game. Um, like I said, they have no tight end and Cam Newton just runs the ball, runs the ball. He is the focal point in, uh, the red zone and to move the ball down the field, they're going to give you a nice dose of Sony Michelle, of Damian Harris, of James White and Cam Newton. 
Okay, and if you're looking at these rushing yards, he already has 434, uh, 35 rushing yards, and like I said, 11 TDs, four fumbles. Okay, so I think you need to have him since he is the focal point of this offense. It revolves around him. Uh, that's what they got him for. Um, captain can vary. So for right now, I'm going to just throw the defense in there. Uh, Rams defense is at a nice cheap price at 6600 if you want them at captain. So I think that's kind of a cheap price um, in this slate when you're thinking of, you know, most guys are like 11, you know, 14, 15 K. You could throw in Rams defense, which is, you know, top two, top three in the league. And they're already putting up great performances. 11 DK points against Arizona. 15 against San Francisco 49ers. 13 against Seattle. Like double digits almost every single game. They're getting touchdowns. They're getting interceptions. They're getting sacks. They limit damage. They have an elite um, corner in Ramsey. And they have elite D lineman in Aaron Donald. So this is a total package here. And that's going to be a lot of trouble for... Um, Cam Newton to deal with. So you can you can go with a five one, you can go with a four two, but I'm definitely gonna lean to the to the heavy heavy side of the Rams in my stacks. I think Jared Goff can be able to move the ball. Um, he definitely has two options to go to. Belichick is going to have to figure out if, is he gonna stop Cup or is he gonna um, stop Robert Woods. He can't stop both. One of these guys are gonna get open and they're gonna chew him up. Robert Woods is more of the outside guy. Cup is more of the inside guy. But he peppers these two guys with targets. And if he wants to take them out, then he has next level guys. He has Tyler Higby. He has Gerald Everett. He has Josh Reynolds. This is, you can really, um, the Rams have so many facets to their offense where Belichick trying to zero in on one guy is not going to work. Uh, Sean McVay is a very, very smart uh, coach and he will pick apart um, this defense. So I'm going with Jared Goff. I think Cup can uh, have a decent day. He's one of the top uh, target getters for Jared Goff. He had nine targets last game, eight catches, um, and no touchdown. He still hasn't had a touchdown. It's it's coming. It's coming. Uh, you are super super due. You were their touchdown leader last year. I understand. That's what happens. Like. One year, the, the wide receiver gets all these touchdowns, and next year he falls off, but he's still productive in each and every game. Cooper Cup, I like him as a play. I think um, Belichick will focus on Woods, but Woods is still at that price where you can go and get him. Um, Damian Harris, I'm not liking this matchup uh, against this run defense. If you just go to you click matchup and you look at passing and rushing, it's – it's horrible. It's ranked number three and ranked number one. You don't you don't want to touch that. Uh, Cam Akers has been coming on strong lately. This this uh, rookie running back is making a case and getting more and more touches. He's had a touchdown in the last three games. He's going to be popular, so people are going to be on him. I don't think I should fade him. The fact that he got 21 carries says a lot. Sean McVay usually likes to split between three backs, running back by committee, but uh, Akers at this point is looking like um, he's ready to step up. You know, he took a backseat. He was being benched a little bit because of pass protection. But I think he's come around and he's ready to finish strong um, for the L.A. Rams. So this production of 21-72 in the touchdown, it can go up to the next level. I'm, I'm looking for a little more receptions, but it is what it is for Akers. We're going to throw him in there as a combination. Um, if I'm looking for a wide, wide receiver for the Patriots, it's going to be Jacoby Jones. Um, Jalen Ramsey is going to stay on the outside, either left or right. He stays on one side. He's not really going to follow anyone because um, it's not anyone worth following. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go with Jacoby Myers to work the middle, and he's going to be heavily targeted. You already see it here, six, six, three, and seven, the last four games. No touchdowns, but... Production is still there. He's got a little, this little weird, you know, good game, bad game thing going on. If you're into that, it technically should be a good game then. Um, James White had a little hot streak the last uh, two weeks previous. D didn't really get used against uh, the Chargers because that was a blowout. So uh, closer 
competition or if they're down really, really big, it would be a situation James White comes in. It was a real shocker that they used him in the red zone those two weeks prior. Um, and I'm just going down the list. If you're looking for a cheap wide receiver, Josh Reynolds is still here. Um, getting targets six, six, and ten. The you know before week thirteen, he was he was heavily used. I think between Reynolds and Everett, they're kind of fluctuating um, usage between those two guys. Uh, but Higby's pretty consistent right here. Um, got a touchdown finally. He has four touchdowns um, this year. So once they get into that red zone. Either Jared Goff is looking for one of his tight ends, Higby or Everett. It's right now it's usually Higby. He's looking for Robert Woods. And if not those three guys, they are running the ball in. Okay. So that's another guy to focus on. Let me throw Cam Newton in there just because he's a focal point. Uh, despite the fact that I have a Rams defense at captain, Cam provides rushing ability um, that's still that's still going to give me points, you know, 23, 22, 16. You know, these are some of these games. Are, they're losing efforts, but he's getting enough to get by. Um, I'm not looking at Patriots defense. I'm more on the side of the Rams defense uh, and kickers are viable for this game. Since you got a nice hard under of 44 and a half, I think it goes below that. Uh, Nick Folk has been money for New England. I don't like uh, you just got to play the game plan in your head. You think New England, New England can move the ball, get into field goal range, but can't get in the end zone. I think that's a idea that can happen. So Nick Folk can fill out the end of this roster at 4K or you can go with um, Kai Forbes on IR. So Matt Gay, who's questionable um, with a little shoulder injury. You have to wait on news on, on this because if he doesn't play, that means there's no kicker for you, pretty much, because uh, they're the next guy that they will call up is not in the DraftKings log as of yet, and I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to change that. So uh, wait on news on Matt Gay, but he's definitely in a spot where he can provide uh, points because McVay definitely likes to move the ball up and down the field, and he is not shy just to get take the points, you know. Take the points. And as you can see right here, Matt Gay is averaging 9.3 fantasy points per game. So that is higher than most of these guys on this in this log here. And then uh, Van, Van Jefferson, not really looking at him. Uh, a nice guy to look at. Like I said, he, they use the tight end in the red zone. So Gerald Everett, um, athletic, and definitely can be a game breaker at that position. Uh, 3,400. He showed you some potential last week with six receptions, 44 yards, and seven targets. Got you a nice uh, 10 point game. I like that as well. But I mean, I give you a little idea right here with Rams captain. Uh, you can switch it up um, if you think they're, you know, if golf is the guy at captain, and then you can bring the defense down to flex. You can switch it up a little bit if you want to. It's it's, it's all up to you. But I'm definitely focusing on the Rams side and throwing in Cam Newton, Jacoby Myers, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm focusing on those two guys. You can go with some of these other options, but I think those two are the main key uh, for this offense. Cam Newton, Jacoby Myers. I don't, I don't see the run game providing much of a threat. They don't have a tight end. They're using uh, Nikhil Harry as a big body wide receiver in the red zone as he got a touchdown last week. He's been very up and down. You can't really bank on that. Like, this is really, really looking like a one sided affair. Um, just trying to analyze it. Um, and then down here, there's nothing that I want. How is the mere bird 800 bucks? What? Is that Ramsey? That's because it's Ramsey. But yeah, he's hit or miss. 3 6 29 had that one big blow up game but other than that he's not giving you much that's the reason why as well so and then are they using Dante Moncrief not really no this man's been thrown everywhere Steelers uh Colts uh Jets this guy's a journeyman now no thank you so let me know how you feel cuz I'm pretty sure I'm going to be one sided on this 
I gave you some cheaper options and, you know, Matt Gay, Gerald Everett. If you want to use a, a third Patriot, I think Nikhil Harry. Um, but other than that, we're going to focus in on the LA Rams. So I already got Cooper Cup, Cam, and, and Newton. So just before I leave, I throw in golf and that captain will bring it back. We'll keep the Rams D up here. Because I think they'll be able to, to control this game, definitely. But all picks are viable. Golf is viable at captain. Cup is viable. Acres is viable. Um, I've been waiting for this rookie to break out, and he is here. I think this can be the real, you know, 100-yard game and a TD. He hasn't had that yet this, this season, and I think this is an opportunity where he can do it. Um, and take advantage because that's the weak point of this Pagers defense. They're good in the secondary with Gilmore and their top tier safeties, but Acres can chew them up in the middle. Um, and that is another captain spot that I like. All right. So get a little creative. We're going to focus in on the Rams. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at MetsNetsJetsD. And don't forget, if you like my plays and you win money, feel free to hit my cash app up. It's going to be in the description uh, below. So you'll see the title. You go a little bit lower, like, comment, subscribe, and then you'll see my cash app. All right. So feel free. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Hopefully, I got a little surprise for you. We'll see. But uh, thank you guys and peace out.